Welcome back to Virginia this morning. Today, we're going to take you inside a Virginia distillery company where the team is blending new and old world whiskey making techniques. I'm interested. <laughs> Evan Armour spoke with the CEO who's making his late father's dream a reality. Welcome to Virginia Distillery Company in Lovingston. I always describe uh, Virginia Distillery Company as an American single malt whiskey company because that's really what makes us different. If you haven't heard of American single malt, CEO Gareth Moore says that's because it's new. Most folks are, are making traditional things like bourbon or rye or um, other types of whiskey that uh, Americans are used to. Um, American single malt is a brand new category and single malt in general is something that people would uh, normally associate with Scotland or Ireland or even certain parts of Japan. Uh, so we're trying to bring you know, old world uh, techniques and technology uh, here to, to America and make it our own. And he says this 100 acres of land in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, which sees hot summers and cool winters, offers the perfect place to make it happen. You know, we're, we're blessed to, to be in the, the climate that we're in um, here in Central Virginia because it provides um, a very unique and dynamic climate to age the whiskey. Here's how he breaks down the American single malt process. It's 100% malted barley uh, that goes into it. Um, we use the, the big uh, copper pot stills behind me, um, the double uh, distillation process. And then we um, age in three different types of casks. Uh, we use former bourbon casks that we get from Kentucky. Uh, we use uh, former sherry casks, which come from Spain. And then uh, our real secret sauce, we like to call it, is our cuvee casks, uh, which is a cask that was previously used to hold uh, European uh, red wine. Uh, but then we shave the inside of it, uh, recuper it, and uh, rechar it, and uh, it produces a really fabulous whiskey in a relatively short period of time. While Moore is running the distillery now, that wasn't always the plan. It started as what he calls his late father's retirement project. He was a uh, Irish immigrant. So he came over with my mother in the early 1970s and uh, made Virginia their their adopted home, and so it's. Uh, it's a project that I took up in uh, 2013 when he uh, passed uh, uh, unexpectedly and uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't something I was really prepared for in terms of uh, understanding the, the whiskey industry in general um, or uh, anything about dis distilling specifically, um, but I've learned a lot in the last seven years and you know, seeing through my, my father's vision to, to realities is really what's made this a very special endeavor for me. One of those visions, the flagship product. Virginia Distillery Company recently released the first American single malt in its Courage and Conviction series. And that name, Courage and Conviction, also ties back to Moore's father. It was uh, my late father's catchphrase of always have the courage of your convictions. And I think that's something that's been a mantra that's, that's helped the company grow uh, over the past several years. And they continue to grow. This whiskey is distilled on site, but you can find their products all across the country. Right now, they're available in 23 states, putting their own stamp on an industry with lots of history. What I really hope people take away from Virginia Distillery is, is that we're part of a very long American tradition of taking um, the, the traditions and techniques from the old world bringing it to the new world, and then not just trying to replicate it, um, but trying to make it our own, uh, trying to make it better. And we've been doing that for, for hundreds of years, uh, whether you think about um, hamburgers or, or hot dogs coming from, from Germany or, or pizza from Italy. Um, they aren't the, the traditional foods that you're going to see in Europe, but they've been adapted for the American palate, and there's not much more than um, a hot dog to describe an American food. And so we're trying to do that um, uh, with whiskey and taking something that is traditionally an old world product, uh, single malt, and doing it here in Virginia, um, not describing success as uh, having an identical copy of uh, what a traditional scotch would be like, uh, but making it our own, giving it a sense of place, um, allowing the climate to, to, to really put a, a unique uh, impression on the whiskey, and uh, ultimately having a product that we're very proud of in a product that's made in Virginia. Evan Armour, Virginia This Morning.
Wow, what a great story. To learn more about Virginia Distillery Company, visit their website, vadistillery.com. That's where you also find information about their new premium cocktail kits that you can get delivered straight to your door. Andreas, we have had them live on our show in the past, and uh, it is just delicious stuff. And what a great story there. I don't know about you, but I kind of got a little knot in my throat when I heard him talking about his dad and carrying on his dad's dream and uh, having to learn the business from scratch, basically, and then making it a reality and having something as special as this really interesting product that they're turning out. Yeah, I mean, what they're doing is just trend setting, first of all, but then the story and the family history behind it is so beautiful. It looks like they have an amazing operation. Now, I don't necessarily drink as many spirits, but I am fascinated by the science that goes into the process and the very specific you know, um, tasks that they have to follow every single day. And for him to carry that on and learn it in that way, it is incredible. I can't wait to get there. I, I hope that they offer some tours after, you know, things open back up. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I have been known to throw back a few, <laughs> but I don't drink whiskey. But I'm thinking about getting some of this just, just to, you know, join in the cause because I have friends that do. Uh, congratulations to them. I was so impressed with that. And uh, thanks to Evan Armour for bringing us that wonderful story as well. Absolutely.